Are you feeling stressed out? Anyone else feel like they need a little break? Me, this girl. How are you guys doing? Or better yet, what have you been doing to take care of yourself? Today, we don't have time for fear, stress, or anything else other than self-care. So I'm gonna be showing you my favorite ways to decompress and just give myself a little pamper routine. So a huge thank you to Nair for sponsoring this video. More on them soon. I'm excited to show you some of their cool products. Just for your convenience, if you ever wanna skip around, I'm leaving time codes right here because time is money, honey. Also, you guys, just a reminder that I have all of these incredible worksheets. We recently did a book log for my dream library video. We also have a sleep blog, stress and anxiety, and just pretty much a to-do list. Anything that you want, we got a worksheet for you. So if you're interested in that, I will link it down below. I'm going to put this up right here. I wanted you to send me how you're feeling right now so we can check in on each other. So please feel free to text me. I'm going to do my best to respond to as many of you as possible. As always, make sure that you subscribe, turn on that little bell, and let's get on into the video. Have you been living the same day over and over again? You wake up and take showers to stay clean, but just to sit around at home. Sitting in the shower with water running to relax wastes a lot of water and you have the time. So why not take the time to relax? Try taking a nice bath instead, but not just any bath. Make sure to create a peaceful environment around yourself where you can really decompress and enjoy. There are also so many benefits to taking baths. They can be really great for your skin. In the long run, they can lower cortisol levels, which in return helps delay premature aging and reduce acne. You can also add ingredients into the bath water that help treat your skin. So if you have aches and pains you can also add some epsom salt if you have eczema like myself dry irritated skin or even sunburn you can add oatmeal whole milk and honey it's amazing my absolute favorite thing in life is taking baths i just like to create a really serene environment with my book my tea some dates some chocolates also all of my bath bombs absolutely love these and just really enjoy indulge it's just the best feeling in the world are you also a bath lover let me know down below in the comments also what are your favorite products i'd also love to know and one of the first things that i love to do is to shave my legs. Yo girl is a hairy girl. So I love feeling nice and smooth and also just soft and fresh. But recently I've actually been doing something kind of new that honestly I really doubted at first. You guys might have heard of the hair removal product and beauty treatment in one Nair before. They're a brand that makes products that removes your hair, exfoliates, moisturizes, removes little stubbles while also slowing down hair regrowth all in one without needing a razor. I was quite impressed honestly. So I've actually been using their upper lip hair removal cream for years and I've always wanted to try this one out. Definitely had my doubts but let me tell you i cannot believe how smooth my legs are even dennis was touching them and he was like oh my god girl they are nice like they're not stubby at all first of all love the color it feels like a spa they have these leg masks that are super easy to use they come in these bottles and it's just pretty much like any beauty mask so first you apply a thick layer to your leg and check it out. You just pretty much wipe it away with a nice damp cloth and ta-da, magnificent, beautiful legs after you rinse. Look how smooth my legs are. It's pretty rad. And like I said, I have pretty thick coarse hair, so I absolutely love it. So if you're interested, make sure to shop right now for Nair Leg Mask by clicking my link in my description. How many of you have gotten some good sun this summer? Not to me, honey. I have been quarantining my little booty, okay? But did your face just feel a little bit drier these days? You just kind of wanted to rehydrate, but regular masks can become pretty messy and peeling off masks can rip your skin if you have sensitive skin like myself. So baby, let me just tell you, sheet masks are the way to go. Sheet masks allow you to rest while soaking up hydration, brightening, moisturizing, and they also have some anti-aging ingredients. Sheet masks quickly penetrate the epidermis, leaving your skin looking rejuvenated, softer, and smoother. And once you get past the ghosty, humorous look that they give off, nah, I haven't really gotten past that. They are pretty funny looking and it sometimes gets a little bit scared, but they really do work. Did you know that 75% of Americans are chronically dehydrated? I uh, know. Not drinking can be very hazardous to one's health. It causes fatigue, causes foggy memory, irritability, decreases your metabolism, and even weakens your immune system. So if you find yourself not being drawn to water throughout the day, try making delicious and healthy spa water instead. Simply start by adding cucumber, mint, and lemon to your water. Not only are you going to get the ultimate feeling of being in a spa, but it's also going to provide a boost of hydration. It also provides so many other benefits, including weight loss, delivers antioxidants, lowers blood pressure and supports healthy skin. There are literally a million recipes out there that have different benefits, so make sure to research how you can make the perfect spa water for your rehydrating needs. I promise you will not be disappointed. I absolutely love this one. Are you having aches, pains in your feet? Are they extra dry and crusty? Girl, are your toenails painted? I got you. Okay, let's talk for a second about how important it is to take extremely good care of your feet. Your feet actually give you stability, balance, strength, and grip to walk and run. They give you shock absorption so that the rest of your body is not rattled as you move. So a person
person has 7,000 nerve endings in your feet and a quarter of all of your bones are actually in your feet. So picture your feet carrying your whole body around every single day and tell me they don't deserve a little more love. When was the last time you went to get yourself a pedicure girl? I just missed the nice foot soap baths with little jets and warm water, but instead let's do it ourselves. So I ordered a foot bath for this video, but you can also accomplish this in a regular bath tub. Just add some nice hot water. You can add whatever you want to this water. You can add essential oils to this water, maybe a bath bomb if you like, and you're being a little bit bougie, whatever you want, even some flowers. This will relieve aches and pains due to standing for hours or walking in uncomfortable shoes. Plus letting your feet sit in their own bath can help reduce swelling and of course prevent bacteria from settling into blisters and cuts or even under toenails. I got you covered. If you've been feeling a little bit stressed, under the weather, or just simply overwhelmed with life, journaling is the perfect meditative activity. Now journaling really helps relieve stress because it allows the brain to organize itself and do a little brain dump. I don't know if you ever heard of this, literally just write whatever comes to your brain. Another thing I really love to do are journal prompts. These are my absolute favorite and I hope to be able to provide a PDF worksheet for you eventually, but till then you are more than welcome to use some of these beautiful worksheets. I have an anxiety and stress one that really helps you answer some questions that perhaps you haven't asked yourself. So I'm going to ask you one right now and you can maybe comment in the comments. What does your most fulfilling life look like? Just answer that. It's that simple. Sit with the question, really think and be honest with yourself and then share in the comments. I feel like journal prompts are such a great way to really speak to yourself. So start out with that one. Let me know if you guys want some journal prompts. Once again, a huge thank you to Nair for sponsoring this video. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what is your favorite self-care activity. And as always, I have all of these incredible worksheets for you just to decompress, take your mind away from things. Distraction is always the best way for me to personally cope with anxiety and stress. And these worksheets will really help you just dive into more of yourself. I don't know, I love them so much. Also, I do have a vlog channel. It's a little reminder if you ever miss me on here and I'm not here too often, I'm definitely over on the vlog or on Instagram or Twitter or TikTok. I'm pretty much everywhere and anywhere. I need to take a break. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe and turn on that little bell. And I love you guys. I'm sending you lots of peace, love, good vibrations, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.